So ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and what would you say to a programming language made specifically for game development with the syntax of C Sharp, but the performance of C++? Well, that is the design goal of the oddly named Beef programming language. Now, I looked at the Beef language back in 2020. Uh, I'm going back to my original post here because it's got something about the author. So this is like the passion project of one of the founders of PopCap Games. He's been working on this for like six or seven years now. I first looked at this one about five years ago. It is a very cool project, but there didn't seem to be that much updates going on in terms of official releases. Well, that recently changed, which is very cool. So he uh, was the engineering co-founder of PopCap Games. He left after EA acquired them, and he's been working on this mostly uh, full-time for the last five years. So that was five years ago. So this is a programming language with like 10 years of development behind it. Uh, before Beef, I was developing game code in C Sharp and engine code in C++, and I felt C Sharp was just much more pleasant to work with, faster compile times, better IDE tooling, better errors, etc. Then it struck me that none of the things I really liked about C Sharp had anything to do with the JIT, the just-in-time compiler, or the GC, which is the garbage collector, uh, and it may be possible to create the best of merging between C Sharp and C++. Uh, there are a number of other C replacements out there. You've got um, Jonathan Blow's... Um, Jai, which I don't know what's going on with that one. Uh, you've got Zig and a couple of other options as well, uh, but you've also got Beef. Now, Beef is a really cool project. Definitely recommend checking this one out if you haven't before. Now, one of the reasons why I haven't revisited it in like the five years time is they haven't been doing a lot of good things for releases. By the way, it is available on um, Windows 64 and 32-bit with binaries. Uh, but for Linux and Mac OS and Wasm, you have to build from source. Now, those binaries, they did just do a release, which is very cool. So you come up over here, you will see uh, there is a new release in March. And this is the first release since 2022. Now, there's been a bunch of uh, updates since then, but you've had to build it yourself. In terms of the features and functionality, you can get an idea of them there. We'll come back to this uh, and some of the documentation in just a second uh, when we come back here to the Beef overview. Uh, first, I'm going to show you a couple of things about Beef itself. Now, the cool thing here, here's the starter. It gives you the uh, installer. It gives you an idea of sort of the whimsy behind Beef. <laughs> I just love that. So this is a, definitely a programming language with a sense of humor. I've already installed it. It does come with an IDE as well. Uh, and uh, there is a language server out there. So if you'd rather use Visual Studio Code and just use Beef tools from the command line, totally an option as well. Uh, when you start it up, you have a workspace. It's like a Visual Studio um, workspace. And then you've got projects within that workspace. Uh, and you can go ahead and create one of the samples here. Again, very game focused. We've got a hello world. We also have like this space shooter. I'm going to start there. And this gives you an idea of what what beef looks like. This also gives you an idea of what the IDE looks like. Uh, the IDE, by the way, does have full code completion. So for example, here, image, you can see the results there, uh, or your instance, like so. Uh, so you do have uh, all of the, the features and functionality you would expect from an IDE. I don't know why he put the effort into building his own IDE. Although I guess 10 years ago, Visual Studio Code wasn't like the, the behemoth it is these days. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what a game looks like. So this is uh, the space game itself. This is one of the entities in it. Let's go check out the program. So this is your entry point. Uh, it's a main. Uh, it's creating uh, a game app. So you see here, some operators, again, every language has its own little things. This one, again, is all of the design, all of the focus, everything behind it is uh, optimized and aimed towards creating games. So you see here, uh, create your game app instance, pre-initialize, pre -initialize, initialize, and run. So here we go. This is the game code. Gives you an idea. Again, if you have ever worked with C Sharp, this is going to be immediately comfortable. Like here, creating containers, very obvious. You know, here you can see a little bit different with the destructor call there. So there are definitely unique aspects to this language, but you're going to see just by looking at this code, it looks very C Sharp like that. The, the inspiration is definitely there. It's just it doesn't have garbage collection and it doesn't have a just just in time compiler. This is creating binaries, so you should get closer to C++ levels of performance. You'll also notice there is a preprocessor in here. Uh, the one thing you're going to want to be aware of when it comes to the preprocessor is it's not as full functioning as what you'd see in C++. You're not going to be doing meta coding or anything like that. Uh, there's also uh, a full integrated debugger. On the back end, uh, it is just using, it's creating standard um, debugger binaries. So you can run through uh, potentially GDB if you'd rather use that. It also uses LLVM on the back end for the comp um, compilation side of things. Uh, it is a really cool language. I can't really get into much details of it in the scope of this video, uh, but if the idea of C 
Sharp with C++ performance appeals to you, Beef is definitely one of the things you want to go ahead and check out. The cool thing, again, also is we know that working with C and C++ is going to be important. So there is low friction interop with C and C++. So you can statically or dynamically link to normal C++ libraries and support for C++ structure layouts and calling conventions. Again, no garbage collection or reference counting, uh, minimal runtime, compiled, no JIT delays. Um, and then on top of that, uh, prefers verbosity over conciseness when it aids clarity, readability, or discoverability. Uh, enable fluid iterative development, uh, familiar syntax and programming paradigms for the intended audience. So again, the C sharp, C, uh, C++ kind of uh, area of inspiration there. Uh, good debugability. So again, it admits standard debug information, PDBs and dwarf. Um, an emphasis on good execution speed of the debug build and well suited to IDE workflow. So compilers of service, fast and reliable autocomplete results, fast and trustworthy refactorability for renaming symbols, etc. And on the back end, it is using LLVM's infrastructure. So it, it should be able to slot into your tool chain of choice um, as much as possible. The cool thing about this entirely open source projects, you see here, it's under the MIT license. Uh, I will have links to all the relevant stuff down below. Now, the key thing I want to point out to you here is this. So there was a release on March the 19th, and I've been kind of keeping an eye on this, coming back to it to, to revisit Beef, and uh, it's been a while. So you'll see over here, uh, the last release before this one. Yeah, September 7th, 2022. So I'm glad to see that he's doing binary releases. Uh, he used to do them more consistently in the past. So April, June, uh, September, and so on. So hopefully he goes back to doing these binary releases again. It's easier to get people into the project when they don't have to build everything themselves. Although if you're working on Linux or on Mac OS, you are gonna still have to do a build. The, build, the binaries are only provided for the Windows platform. But Beef can be run on those platforms, same with the IDE, etc. cetera. Uh, but they're considered somewhat secondary targets. Uh, and it can um, hit other platforms, as you saw earlier on, things like uh, consoles and so on. Now, if you're interested in checking out Beef, there is an awesome Beef repository, literally called Awesome Beef, a uh, breakdown of some of the tools that are available for you out there. Uh, so there is, again, an unofficial language server. Uh, so if you want to use something like Visual Studio Code instead of their IDE, you can do so. There is a web-based version of the editor, so you can actually run and play with Beef directly on the in the browser if you wish to do so without having to install anything. Uh, a variety of algorithm implementations available, like so. Uh, in the world of game development, we have uh, two engines. One is a 2D game engine over top of SDL called Strawberry. By the way, SDL, as we saw from uh, here, is to a degree built in. So you see your game app is inheriting from SDL app. So you get SDL functionality out of the box. You'll see here, SDL is uh, being used for this particular example. So that's pretty nice. On top of that, Raylib has beef bindings because of course it does. Raylib has bindings for literally everything. Uh, on top of that, BGFX. So if you want to, um, th this is probably, if you're gonna go the 3D route, the way you'd wanna go. Box2D has bindings available here, Chipmunk, uh, DirectX, uh, unfortunately, Direct3D 11, um, and then so on and so forth. So OpenGL uh, loader here as well, SDL2 and SDL3, and so on. Uh, some uh, GUIs are being implemented, including the very popular IAM GUI uh, is available over there. And so on. So there are a number of libraries available for it. And then there's even some scripting language integration here. Uh, so Lua uh, has two implementations there. There's a networking library on there as well. Uh, and then there's a variety of uh, IDE themes available for you too. Uh, so if you're interested in that. So ladies and gentlemen, that ladies and gentlemen is Beef. Again, first looked at it back in 2020. Uh, it was a very cool project then. It is a very cool project now. So if you're interested, uh, the cool thing here is there is good solid documentation available. We looked at some of the documentation over here. You're gonna see the entire language is um, documented. So if you wanna see how to do interop with C, for example, it is all explained here, how you map from uh, a beef primitive to a C++ or C sharp or whatever primitive between various different platforms. So again, there's your C sharp, there's your C, C++, and there's your beef. Uh, if you're interested. Uh, and then all of the, the details of the language are documented here. The high level features are here. 
uh, and so on. And then you get down into the specifics, things like generics and uh, interfaces, etc., are all fully documented. So uh, nice to see good documentation for this project because, again, this is one guy's passion project over the last decade. Uh, now that guy knows what he's doing and he has, um, uh, you know, good resources. So, hey, what would you do if you had a whole lot of money, no need to work, and, and passion for game programming? It might make your own language and IDE, apparently. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is beef. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.